Okay, so again, I'm going to post the, the pictures of the restraining order page by page so you can follow along um, word for word. Um, as you can see that I'm not screwing around or playing any games at all. Um, okay, so here three. Here's the second page. Quick look. This is it. So we're going to start off. Uh, I'll put it over here. I'm going to start off... Um, <clears throat> Applin stated respondent continues to text and phone her by voice audio. Um, I think I've only sent one. Um, I still have my phone. Like, you know, I don't see another one. That, that's a lie. Um, like, it's the, the, the domestic violence or stalking against me is repetitive or escalating. Fuck, okay, escalating? Like, two, I, I text you like two times in a, in a, in, in two months to see my kid because, like, it's, it's just insane. Ask it, uh, like it's kind of like someone kidnaps your kid and says that they won't pick up their like because I don't call her I don't even try because she won't ever pick up a phone she has a pick up phone problem which I can prove you know through thirty different people that you know are more but I mean just her boyfriends exes that this is the problem and in other words um you know you kidnap my kid and then if I call or if I text saying you know come on I want to see my kid you don't answer you don't you don't do anything and I'm like please you know but then this is stalking no this is you kidnapping and me wanting to see my kid and playing games like that's fucking nuts like that's her evidence that you know, fuck, that's crazy um so next one would be applicant states respondent con continues to tell her she has mental health and health problems and he will help her blame her for not being normal regarding sex okay well you know i'm not going to get into that part um, because it's not about, I'm not trying to embarrass, I'm not trying to, what I'm trying to do is defend myself because she's lying and, you know, if she didn't have these false claims against me, I wouldn't be doing this, right? So if she's, you know, gets embarrassed, well, that's on her, you know, she shouldn't have done what she's doing then, you know? But I'm going to hurry up and show you right now that the claim of, uh, that I claim that she has mental illness, yes, I have said that, yes, I believe so, and that's, we're going to find out in her own writing, uh, that she does have mental problem. Okay, so I'm sorry I'm not ready on this because I didn't, I should have been. Uh... Okay, so. Well, I am the stupidest girl alive. I need to get help, and yet I don't know I'm scared and embarrassed to ask for it. All my life I've proven to be stronger than that. I've had a problem for over seven years that needs assistance and I don't want people to know. I want to fix it quietly and without people knowing. I'm feeling bad because I did a stupid thing last night and how I am up and again so overwhelmed with anxiety and panic. My heart is racing. I'm ashamed of myself and the stupid part of it. I, would, I wouldn't have done it sober. Now it is on my conscience and I really have a... Okay, so... Okay, and I'm just, you know, I'm not lying. Um, right there, boom. You know, and this is just a quick, you know, obviously, because... Um, so, okay, so... There's that. And there's much more, and I'm going to go through it. Um, okay, you know, I'm going to give you another one right here. Uh, you know, and we're going to keep going. But, and you know, I tried my hardest, and it's because I need someone to step in to get my kids safe. Me, You know, I don't even know. Like, I'm in a hard position because, you know, I'm going to, I'll explain when I say my kids because, you know, I love Riley. And, you know, we used to be like this, and then she just... And, uh, how do you, you know, once you call someone your boy, how do you ever not, you know what I mean? He's, you know, he may be, he may not want me, but I'll always be there for him, so I can't stop calling him that. It's hard, you know, I guess when he says, don't ever, you know, then I guess, you know, but I just don't understand that part. That's hard on me. Uh, but I have to do this for my daughter. 
and him because I found some other shit and that won't get released because it's too much. Um, but here, oh, it's, it is hard. I mean, I took a day over a day because um, I did a lot of crying when I found all this shit because fuck, it kills you, man. It, it hurts. It hurts because, um, Okay, so still organized over well over what happened. It was plaguing me. How could I? It wasn't me. And yet, incredibly guilt and the horror, and I would never. It scares me. No, no more drinking except up to three. Split personality? Help. No one to talk to. I should talk to Trina. No. Then who? I guess just me. If I can prevent my other self to come to life, I will. What happened to me? Complete failure, but it wasn't me. I am falling apart. Listen to me. Now, fuck, man. That's... She's embarrassed. She doesn't want to ask for help. She's trying to do it quietly. And this is all before I met her, right before I met her, you know, and I, and I went through it because I, I'm very, you know, I did it for my kids' well-being, her well-being, everyone's, you know, and I'm not going to, I'm not, you know, I want her to know that regardless of what happened, she's always going to see the kids. She doesn't have to have anxiety that, you know, I'm going to, take these kids away and she'll never have a mommy and I'm going to try and turn these kids up or, or Alice against her or uh, no. Alice always know that what you did was out of misunderstanding and you know because I can't understand why you, you know I know a lot because you were honest with me before and you did say you were doing it on purpose but you were caught up in your lies your, your two stories and I can understand how that is an embarrassment you know but that's no excuse again because it's kids so you know I'm going to show that again, you know, I'm not lying. Oh, shit, I'm so mature. Um, I think I got it in there, Can I, you know. I'm not lying, that's what it reads, that's what it says. She's got a split personality uh, way back. Um, you know, she's denying it, trying to say I have it. It's like, no, you do, okay? And, and don't be ashamed, get help, you know. Don't be ashamed, you know, she shouldn't be ashamed. I'll back you, I've always been there, so... Um, that is, uh, I believe, in in here, in the restraining order, I believe it's, uh, sorry, because uh, it says, you know, I believe she has mental health problems and she, and she uh, should get help. Um, Oh yeah, well right there, that's where we were. Um, that she and then she needs help. Well, yeah. She thinks she needs help. Um, I think she needs help. So there so in other words, I was telling the truth and she was lying in her own, you know, because she you know. So she does have a mental problem. So I wasn't lying, I was telling the truth. So she's trying to accuse me like I'm saying, Oh, you have a mental problem, there's something wrong with you. No, no, there is, and you know it, and you're trying to hide it, and she's trying to act like I'm calling you names, like, oh, you have you know, you're psycho. No, not at all. Not at all. Okay, so the regarding sex, I'm not gonna get into that. I'm not gonna because I'm not here to embarrass her. Is it uh not normal? I think so. Definitely. Uh, I'll talk to people about it, okay? So but I won't, you know, um, that's fine. Applicant states uh, he walks around with a pellet gun, shoots at squirrels. No. It's another ridiculous thing, you know. I've killed one squirrel on this. Squirrel or striped gopher? I don't know which one it was. But one was eating the shit out of my all my bags and popping them all. I'm like, oh, let's not just eat one. Let's just. And the big bags are like 15 bucks and they're wrecking them all, man. And yeah, so I felt bad. But six years, I shot a squirrel. I mean, come on, a glass of fur, you know, I do my best, man. Um, but, but you know, trying to make me look like I'm like running around, oh, I'm gonna kill everything, you know, it's just so stupid. It's so bad, like, because I'm just not like that. Applicant stated respondent makes references to animals on YouTube and how he turned tr m trust them more than applicant. Applicant is a wolf, yes. Um, 
so what he's saying, what you're saying is on the video, I stated, uh, I trust animals more than her. Yes. And I'm calling her a wolf. Yes. Cause that's how you're acting. Cause you're being sneaky and lying. You know, you're, you're hiding and you're, you're sneaky. You're hiding in wait, you know, um, you're, you're, you're using people, you're, uh, to set your lies. Like, you know, it's a wolf attitude, you know, you want to be a princess, which is later. That's what you want to be. Cause I read that too. Then be one, you know, stop being a freaking what you're doing is just you're being a wolf stop being a wolf applicant started res stated respondent has uh, we're on number eight applicant stated respondent has continued to ha harass her for past three and a half years well that's all lies like i could prove that a billion times over it's three and a half years she's been coming here um I mean, I, last time she came here, she had sex with me. I mean, it was odd. I mean, she doesn't have sex. But I mean, I told her, oh, this person wants to date me. Or this person um, um, said come over. Or this person is interested. Because uh, there's been a few. Um, and I'm not. It's just I figure, oh, I'll let you know, you know. And, uh, oh, but let's go screw. And it's like, what? <laughs> I'm not even going to get into that uh, all. Uh, I can. I can where, when, how, blah, blah, blah. And she'd be weird about that. Like, even Sarah would be over here. Uh, we'd go have sex in the barn. Uh, and, and then she wouldn't want me to tell Sarah in the house because she's waiting, like, because she had to keep it separate, like we're fighting or something. It's like, but every chance she got, it's just fucking weird. It, I don't even know what I was in. I was, like, in a couple different worlds that she was putting me into. Um, so the three and a half years is bullshit. She's been, like... Harassing me, going to all my family members, calling, saying this, that, fucking all these weird, you know, all this shit, which is lies. Um, and everyone else. Okay, so step on that. And I, can, I have tons of evidence for three and a half years. Again, um, applicant stated, respondent, drinks occasionally and daily marijuana use. Um, I barely drink occasionally. I really don't. Uh, pot, I smoke when I, when I want. Uh, you know, sometimes I, I don't. It's not daily. It's whenever, you know, I want. Um. I don't have a problem. You do. <laughs> um, I've quit for years in it, in between, you know. Um, uh, Sometimes, you know, I, I had some crappy, you know, crappy weed. <laughs> uh, it was good for, to get me off to bat. To get, get, I quit smoking for almost three years. Uh, you know, that was fucking killing me. I couldn't breathe. I, couldn't, I was dying. Uh, so, yeah. Smoked that for... It didn't take very long. It really doesn't. It's just a, I don't know. It's hard to not have something to inhale in a sense, really. I was going to smoke, like, oak leaves or something. I don't know. But anyway, go on. Um, but, yeah, she uh, she smokes her pot all the time. That's the, her medication, her self-medication. And she's an alcoholic, really, right? Um, so, done. Uh, applicants fear if respondent finds out she where she lives will put her at risk no i can find out where she lives anytime i want i was asking where she lived i was asking her because i don't like to do anything you know because it because the way she is she's a paranoid schizophrenic i think and you know it's like everything's like i'm i'm gonna do something to her it's like what do you you know and so um, I was always asking, but then I realized she was playing game because then I caught I caught her and I knew it because I asked her to bring the car seat. She wouldn't let me bring the car seat because she well it was all because she didn't want me to find out where she lived and she kept giving me stupid excuses. I'm like, well, that's just you're that's horrible that what you're doing then because you're playing those. It's gotten too far where you played that game where it kept anyway. Um, so risk that's all bullshit. Oh, I got two minutes or one minute left. Um, applicant stated respondent makes reference to animals pigs and fears for her safety i'm fucking on a farm i can't talk about my my animals you fear for your so if i'm like you know i gotta go feed the chickens go see the cows oh fuck i'm scared like really i don't even get that that's why is it on here retarded 22 caliber crossbow could be in the lock box downstairs in basement here she's just trying to um tell on me like oh this is you know um where it is, whatever. No, my twenty two is normally in there, but um, well, they took it, the police. But my crossbow isn't, because um, it doesn't fit, and it's I don't even have arrows. I don't think. Um, and downstairs in the basement, or the twenty two. Yeah, they took it. Um, I have problems with bears and uh, bears and and wolves and cougars. I have pictures. 
And uh, fuck, this here was bad for Wolves and Retarded. And Bigfoot came fucking around, I guess, because I got 10 seconds. I can't even talk about my Bigfoot stories. Bigfoot's coming in. I'll start off on the next video. I gotta go.